<laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is September 25th, 2018. I'm in Lacombe, Louisiana, about uh, about 40 miles from the Abbey. It took me like about an hour and 10 minutes to get over here with all the traffic. It's about seven, well, it's about eight o'clock now in the morning. And uh, can y'all see what we got up here? That's right, these and this little structure in this building. Now what happened, they had a big, massive uh, um, oak tree right over here, and I'm gonna show you this. Uh, and about six months ago, one of the limbs fell and landed on the shed and just took it out. And at that time, right after that, these bees uh, moved into that, into the building after that. So by the grace of God, today, me and my brother Richie, well not my real brother, but my bee brother, Richie, same one that we, he and I did the, the, the video uh, of the hive underneath the house and his daughter got the bees to start for her 4-H project and he'll give us an update on that. Um, he and I, we're going to go ahead and grab these bees today, head them up to the Abbey and uh, they'll become Abbey honeybees. So I think it's time to wrangle. Here's the tree um, that um, dropped its limb onto the building. They, they since cut the tree down and this little spot right here, that's the limb that broke off the tree that demolished the shed. Look at this. Now that's what I call taking a building out. Oh my gosh. It is, uh, it's, it's ruined. So the homeowners asked me to come out and uh, remove the bees so they can take the uh, building down uh, this weekend. And so Richie and I are going to go ahead and do that. All right, let's uh, start cutting off some side and, and expose these bees. So what I discovered is that the, the bees have built um, comb above and below that, that plate between the first and the second floor. Uh, this, this section of the hive, it's all honey, there's no brood in this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and cut all this stuff out, vacuum these bees, and let the bees uh, start to rest on a little bit higher up, and uh, then I'll take the, the siding off of the building at that point. And, uh, um, get the bees from there. Now, I mean, I may have to uh, go to the inside to get these, but let's just see what happens. All right, let's uh, vacuum up some bees.
All right, so here's what we got so far. This whole section has now been removed. And there were a couple of sections on there that had brood on it. And uh, Richie's put those in the, a separate ice chest. And what, what's appeared to have happened was the bees that were up here, they came running down and now clustering over here. And our queen may have gone up inside of there. So what I'm gonna do now, before I, I take off the coverings right here and expose this comb, we're gonna go ahead and, and look through these bees right here, move, remove that little piece of siding right there. Look through these bees and see if our queen is in there. Uh, and I'm really hoping she is, because if she is, it'll save us a lot of time uh, searching for her once we uh, remove that other piece. So let's go ahead and take off the side and uh, see if we can find a queen in this mess of bees. Before I get started on that, let me show you what's in this ice chest. Look at this, folks. That's some beautiful honeycomb in there. And that stuff is dry enough. I'm, I'll, I'll be able to frame some of that up and I'll give it right back to the girls. That's my hope, is to put some of that, that uh, dry honey into their box with them back up at the Abbey. Figured while I'm at it, may as well show you the uh, sections of, of brood comb that we, we've removed. We have two really nice pieces of brood in here. And I, I, I've been liking the idea of, of removing the brood and putting it in an ice chest and then going back up in the Abbey and doing it instead of doing it in the field where the robber bees can get at you. So I'm just, uh, this is the process that I'm using right now. So this is some really nice, nice sections of brood, nice and dry. All right, now it's time to get those taken the uh, the siding off and exposed these bees right here. And now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start grabbing handfuls of bees, bring them down, and Richie's gonna go ahead and vacuum them while we look for the queen. And uh, let's hope she's in that cluster. It, 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 I think there's a very good chance she's gonna be in there. Well, let's find out. There she is. Look at her. Aha. <laughs> First handful. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. Unbelievable. The first handful of bees that I grabbed, and there she is, right in there. I know there's a lot of bees in there. Uh, let me see if I can. There she is. Right there. There she is. She's a nice, plump girl. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is going to be so nice for us to be able to um, back in the bees now at a, an accelerated pace. The weather is, is getting ready to change on us, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and just vacuum bees and cut comb and get all these girls together. Wow, what a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, it isn't there anymore. Got a bunch of robber bees and a couple of few more of the field bees still flying around. I'm going to wait about half an hour until that thing calms down and uh, make that final vac. And after that, I'll show you the bees. Ooh, Thank goodness this one's over. That's a good shot of our queen right there. Most of the tender bees have left her, and we're fixing to put her right on top of the uh, the bees that we vacuumed up. So let's go ahead and set her on top of that and uh, show you the bees that we got. It's a nice mess of bees we have. And there's our bees. Very nice mess. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, eight, ten thousand bees, something like that. Still a pretty good mess. All right, I'm headed up to the Abbey and, uh, uh, you know, take care of these bees and turn them loose up there. So we'll pick this up at the Abbey. I'm, I'm back at the Abbey, um, and these, these are all my kind of like the hives that I've got to um, water and take care of, feed and take care of. So they're, they're right behind the honey hut. And so the, the hive here that uh, Richie and I just did the removal on, um, they're going to be out here. So I'm getting ready to return, uh, release our queen onto one of our frames of, of their comb. I want to find one that's got the brood on it. We did uh, five, five frames, two of them 
had brewed, the three of them uh, had punted. So at least we, we, we've given them some stores in there. So here's one of the frames of brood. And I'm going to go ahead and turn our queen loose on this. So our queen's in the cage. I'm going to turn her loose right now. And there she is, right here. Let's see. Oh, she almost fell into the pot. Oh, she's right here on the top. All right, we're going to drop her down into the bottom. <laughs> Not very ceremonious, but it'll work. She's in the box now. Let's um, get our cover on. and pull our screen and as we pull the screen this will allow the bees inside to start walking up and now we'll open up and let them start flying out all right tomorrow I'll come back and, and remove the uh, this uh, box right here and then put the uh, the honey the, the honey and brood super down onto their screen bottom board and that'll be a wrap. So that's all I have for you from me and Richie. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. Well, guys, here we are. We're, we're over at Richie's place now. And uh, I, I, we, we just finished doing that cutout down the road. And... I said, well, look, since we're going up to the Abbey, let's stop by your place. That way we can shoot some video on, on the hives that you did. And he was just telling me the story that this hive right here, the one that's got the brown one, this is the hive that uh, we took out from underneath the house. And uh, they, they really, they're doing well. Look at, look at all these hives. Richie, tell me what, what, what's going on with this. How, what, what's going on? This one started it. Was, uh, <laughs> Jenny wanted to do bees as a FFA project. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I hated bees. I hate getting stung by bees. I didn't want to do bees. And so I did some research, started looking on the internet, started talking to people and they're like, man, you know, they're, they're not that bad. And she wanted to do it. So uh, I contacted Jeff. I added a blue, saw some of his videos on YouTube and so I sent him a message. Got to talking to him. He said, well, come on. He said, I got one next week. We'll go do it. Went and done it, got it out. And then we ordered some bees, and then we started doing cutouts. I learned from Jeff how to do cutouts, what to do, and then people would call, hey, I, got, I need a cutout, and then another person would call, I need a cutout, and then now we have 13 hives. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Look. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six at this location. And look, he's got his own, own stash of goldenrod. It's just starting to come to bloom right here. Got a nice pile of it here, a nice pile of it there. And here's his other hives over here. All right. Well, Richie. So Jenny started it. All right. Yeah. Uh, so Jenny, now, now Jenny started it. Samantha, my oldest daughter, she said, uh, "Well, you, if you can make honey, if you can make money with bees selling honey, then I'm, I'm in. I want some of that." <laughs> I said, "If you come and help us, then I'll give you the hive and the beginning of the equipment, and you pay for the rest." So she came to. Um, a house and got some with a friend of ours and met Jeff and helped do the cutout and then we got a call from somebody else about a, a hive in the woods somewhere from a game war. In fact, the guy that started it, that, uh, Mike's house. Uh, that was the guy that we that took was, the hive. That was the guy we got yeah. the hive from and he turned me on to another one. And so Samantha got two. She's, her two are right over there. And uh, I said, okay, they're set up. Now the girls, you start buying the equipment. You know, you start buying the boxes and frames and go up and then everything else is yours so that's where they're at they each have two and um, if they want more they're welcome but it's, it's timing you know with school and work we got a schedule's got to match up for us to be able to do it together uh -huh. but uh it started with jenny then went to samantha and now we're we're 13. can you believe that <laughs> first handful <laughs> huh yep wow that's what i'm telling you man that's just like way you got exciting. the queen luck that's for sure that's 